Today we're going to talk about how to become a bird dog scout, also known as an associate scout. They really don't make a lot of money, but they're asked to be part of an affiliation, and sometimes they're called cross-checkers as well, but they're out there looking for that original talent, maybe a sophomore in high school or a junior in high school throws that first no-hitter. They're out there looking where baseball is being played. You can't get enough professional scouts everywhere. And so you have to have somebody that's willing, knows enough about the game that can pass on, hey, I think you need to look at this guy. Hey, I think this guy, he got four home runs today. And so a bird dog scout has another job, does this on the side, but has credibility, has knowledge of the game, and it's kind of an entry level to break into the business. Again, it doesn't pay, but if you can demonstrate through the scouts that are legendary, that are paid scouts, that are professional scouts, the bird dog scout is out there at a game that maybe nobody else is at, passing on the information. And it's so important as baseball is played around the world that somebody's watching each game because it may be that performance that really shows the talent that otherwise hasn't been seen in other games. So if you really want to be a bird dog scout and you're hanging out at the baseball park, keep your eye on that guy that has the radar gun and you can tell he's a scout. Go up and introduce yourself. Hang out. Go back to the next game. Get to know people. All of a sudden, somebody may say, son or young lady, uh, I need somebody in this area. I don't have anybody in this area. So it's about networking, really, to become a bird dog scout. It doesn't mean you have to have all the schooling. It's just you have to know someone.